I want to talk a little bit about uh, the mantras that are used in Kundalini Yoga to tune in. So we always use these before starting a class and if you are doing something at home that you've learned from the class, whether it's a meditation, active meditation, something that, that was assigned to you, if you wanted to take that homework, I always give homework if people want it, they can do it. Um, I like to provide everybody with an opportunity to transform as much as they want to and that's the way it is with Kundalini as it is with everything. You get out of it what you put into it. So if you really want to dial up this power, you will get a lot out of it. Uh, so anyways, these mantras, Om Namo Guru Dev Namo is called Adi Mantra. That's the first one we use. When we do Om, that O-N-G Om is vibrated in what's called the conch. It's up in here. That's where the vibration is. Namo Guru Dev Namo And when you say that Guru feel the goo feel the vibration on your lips Ru where you're rolling the R you'll feel the tongue hit the meridians of the palate all of this is very important to do this properly the closer that you can get the mantra um, the more that you're going to get out of it, of course. So uh, we do that three times. That Om Namo Guru Dev Namo. Also, you can feel the way that moves through your system. You might not feel it right away, but as you keep up with this yoga and keep doing it, and once the Kundalini starts to flow, then you will start feeling everything. You'll start feeling all these different systems that you have. You'll start feeling the chakras, how when we do this mantra, how you'll feel it. Oh, you feel it here. Namo, you feel it in your throat. You feel it go to your heart. You feel it go down to your root chakra and then come back up through the systems and back to the crown. And that's what they're doing when you pay attention to it. And when you listen to other people doing mantras like Sanatam Kar or anyone like that, you can feel what chakras they're hitting and you'll hear that other artists that do them some of them will be in the second chakra and that's where they're doing mantra from there's nothing wrong with any of the chakras but um, doing mantras we don't want to stay in the second chakra we want to come up into the higher chakras and we'll talk more about that too so Om Namo Guru Day Namo. The second mantra is Mangala Charn. And this mantra is Ad Gure Name. Jugad Gure Name. Sat Gure Name. Siri Guru De Ve Name. Ad gire name, jugad gire name, sat gire name, siddhi gire deve name. Ad gire name, jugad gire name, sat gire name, siddhi gire deve name. Ad gire name, jugad gire name, sat gire name, siddhi gire deve name. The other thing on that last mantra, I hear different teachers say that in different ways. They'll say Nama, but to me that's not it. It's Name. And that in the, the end part too, the De Ve, it's De Ve Name. Those feel right to me. If there's any other Kundalini Yoga teachers uh, listening to this, I appreciate your input on it. All right, and don't forget when you do that, we tune out at the end with Sat Nam. So if you take it on one of these things to do at home, especially, I, like I said, I want you to do stuff at home. I hope that you do. You're going to tune in with uh, Om Namo, Guru Dev Namo three times. And then when you're finished, you're going to tune out with a long Sat and a short Nam. Just inhale deeply. So. that long just to show you that that's the kind of prana that you can build, pranic storage that gives you that power. I can go longer than that, especially once the powers of the prana is built up in my body. 
And that's what I'm here to teach, that kind of stuff. So you can have this great power to live a great life. So no.